What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Justice Falls. We'll be back at it again with another video. And today we're looking at some Assassin's Creed Valhalla gameplay. They've done a little uh, walkthrough. Um, so let's see what it's, what it's about. I hear you get like some boat combat too, like Black Flag. You mentioned that, in, like I think IGN mentioned that in the preview. You get like more boat combat, which is dope. Cause I really like Black Flag. Black Flag was dope. I like the pirate, the pirate vibe. That was cool. Hi, I'm Julien Laferriere. I'm the producer of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and we are looking forward to players play our game on Xbox Series X and. That ain't that don't sound like what you said. Really the way it's spelled. To today <laughs> do a deep dive into our gameplay. It's a settlement, this the hood, so you gotta, the settlement is really gotta take the heart hoods of over. The experience of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Being a Viking clan leader, this you is gotta give back to the hood, you know, typical video and game you see stuff. The village prosper as you have many adventures in the in the game. Basically, um, you have buildings that you can upgrade and renovate. Mm -hmm. uh, this is where you're gonna see the consequences of all the decisions that you've made in the game. The settlement also offers many customization opportunities. So you are able to kind of tailor the settlement to your own tastes and needs. Right. As you progress through the game, you will unlock Dead Redemption. many different buildings, and each of those buildings will give you many possibilities, whether it's a blacksmith two. where you get to upgrade your gear, or two. maybe a tattoo artist where you can customize the appearance of your character and your hairstyle, and even some a place where you can have your, your collections through the Roman collectors or the hunters or the, the fishermen. Every single quest arc in the game right. is introduced to what we call the War Table. And you'll see different okay. opportunities for your clan. Maybe it's to organize a wedding to kind of gain the favors of a local lord, or sometimes it's an opportunity for a military conquest, or sometimes maybe yeah, a we do we do a military conquest. An agenda you know that. The, the goal is to have a lot of different variety for the players to offer. Every quest arc has a specific flavor for you to discover an interesting cast of characters as well, and all of this is kind of channeled through the war table with Ranvi being your lead counselor. I dig um, that. So the way it plays out is that when you go in your settlement, you consult with Ranvi, and she will basically tell you what the local lords have been uh, talking about. So it really, the settlement is the heart of the oh, experience. So that's your right hand. She give you the scoop. It's meant to you know be what's where going you start on. and end every quest arc in the game. So it's really meant to be the central piece for players to kind of live through and see prosper as they uh, live the adventures of the game. So it's like your home base, you know? Look, one of the rich temples. As a Viking leader, one of the Let's main activities you do in the game is raiding. So basically, uh, you leave from your settlement on your longboat with your crew, and you attack a strategic site. You roll up location. on people's hood. <laughs> And you, you run down and they say you take their hood. Yeah, I, I get it. I, I understand. There ain't much to explain there. That long sword when is you crazy. Raid, you find special resources, and you can use those resources to later on upgrade your settlement, unlocking new buildings and new possibilities. I dig it. Raw materials. So I'm having a feeling we're gonna be seeing a lot of that. The main loop of the game and enables you to see your clan prospering in England. I want to do the thing where you can you can you can roast people. I think it's I think it's all the F. I don't know what, it, I don't know what it's called. Y'all can tell me in the comments if you like roast. I know there's got to be like a trophy for that or something like that. We really wanted to deliver for that. the brutality of the combat. Mmm. That was savage. So, there's some beheading. You can really feel the impact of the weapons connecting. My son throwing axes. Oh. Also, we wanted to give the players a range of abilities that they can equip and try to really customize the play style that they want. And all the abilities are really grounded into. Oh, you get a what grapple to too. Viking fighting. Nah, you're not healing. Another thing about the combat is. 
the variety of the enemy archetypes in the game. We mm. really want to push the challenge forward for the players. No to polar bears were harmed during the making of this video. No actual polar that bears. That feels really good in the long run. So 50, 60 hours in, in the game, you still have a challenge for your fighting abilities. I like, I like that. Because, you know, after you, sometimes after you upgrade in the game, towards the end, it just becomes too easy. I like that he said they, they're going to try to continue to add challenges even when you get deeper into the game. You can't have a great fighting system without epic boss fights to really challenge the players to their full capacities. And I'm telling it from a personal point of view, the first time I grabbed the controller in my hands and did an amazing boss fight at 60 FPS, the game was just so smooth, it was so nice. Just Not with that awesome, stamina bar, really, y'all gotta really get cool that out of here. Oh, no, I think they only got horse Vikings stamina in this game. Famous explorers, and we wanted to bring some of that flavor into the game to have the players feel like they're exploring a brand new world. Colors in this is crazy. Now I got this in 4K. I'm looking at this on a 4K screen. But this video is going to render in 1080 One because tools my screen is, recorder is, raven. is only in so 1080. Raven, if you fly your raven, I haven't upgraded. Raven will point you out but that, uh, this looks beautiful, this game. Using beams of light. And every opportunity, every beam of light has a surprise or a little challenge for players to discover. And what's great about the raven on Series X is that we have little to no loading time. So we always have this immersive experience always available always there uninterrupted by loading times always like that feature you can scan ahead with the bird and like see vikings you can look at camps and stuff see where the, the captains are tag them and, and then pick your route to take each one of them out so yeah, I, I, last one i played was origin like so stealth. and fans of the franchise use the eagle a lot see that iconic gameplay back into this game uh, just with the blending of the monks, which is actually a great tribute to Assassin's Creed 1, mm. or just sitting on the benches unnoticed, using your hidden blade and your hood just to blend in with the big cities of England. It's just a really cool feeling. It's not very Viking-like to sneak around, but it is Assassin's Creed, for this so... Is the Odin site, as it highlights enemies, loot, key items, so you have every information at your disposal to just sneak in and make your way through. Hmm? Must be blocked from the other side. My phone, my phone going off. Myth worlds. We could do a game about Vikings without touching on their amazing mythology. Of course. Vikings were actually living their mythology on a daily basis. It was part of their daily lives. So we had to find a cool way to depict that into our game. So in your settlement, there is a seer who lives there, and that seer will send you on a vision quest. And the first world you get to explore is Asgard. Nice. So this very iconic Let's moment go. of the Viking mythology is available in the game, and it's looking great with all the next-gen capabilities we have. So nice. really looking forward to players uh, exploring this amazing world that we've crafted. I can't wait Our to explore game that. Is leveraging the next gen capabilities. Whether it's the game running at 60 FPS on Series X, making a great fighting, smooth experience, or the improved loading times that really creates those immersive moments. On Assassin's Creed Valhalla, we want players to live their ultimate Viking fantasy. Our nice. team started to work on this game three years ago. The draw distance very is crazy. Soon you'll be able to play it. We've crafted this amazing, Everything you can see, you can go to it. open world for you to explore. You're going to love to be a Viking. All right. It's a large title. But I think it's going to be... Is it, gonna, is, it, is it exclusive? Probably time is exclusive. I'm not sure. But yeah, that was the uh, walkthrough for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. The more I see the, of this game, the more I like it. It improves each time. In my opinion, the again the graph like I was telling you the graphics are beautiful. If you can, if you don't have a 4K TV yet or a 4K monitor, definitely invest in one. 
it's it's definitely worth it. Cause just looking at this trailer, it, like it in this gameplay, it was just beautiful. Everything was so smooth and fluid. Um, if you're picking up a uh, Xbox Day One, Xbox Series S or Series S, definitely pick up this game. I definitely recommend it. That's I definitely will when I when I get my hands on one. And um, I'm liking the mechanics they introduced. Only thing I'm not liking is that stamina bar. I think it's only for the horses. But it looked like you had it for your character too. I was just not feeling that. I never did in any any game. But other than that, it's looking good. So um, it looks very diverse. They added some. I think there will be like some boat combat. I, I saw that before in the, in the previous video. Um, and I mentioned before earlier in the video, like like Black Flag or something like that. I hope they have something like that. And um, the load times, the load times are going to be crazy because that, that's what's really going to set the next gen apart from what we're playing right now, those load times. So that's what another thing I'm really looking forward to for next gen, just next gen period. But the developer, he mentioned that uh, he mentioned that a lot in the video. So it's going to be very seamless gameplay. I don't think we'll get tired of you know switching to side missions in between main missions and switching between you know the eagle and going through the mains and stuff because everything is just going to be quick and fast like this generation we're going to be finishing our games a lot faster in my opinion so you guys already know what you you already guys already know the vibes like comment subscribe let me know what you think in the comments all that good stuff this is your boy justice falls and we out one